Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. What is the situation with individuals and groups like Al-Qaeda? Those groups who attack non-Muslim in Muslim countries and non-Muslim tourists and so forth. What is their condition? Where, where do they get this from? We have to analyze this and see, put this on the Islamic scale. So as a part of Al-Qaeda's methodology, they make it permissible to kill and terrorize those people who are protected under Islamic law. However, let's see what the Prophet Muhammad wasallam said. Because we need to look, know what the Islamic position is. Not with extremist sects that have uh, come up with their own version and their own vision which contradicts Islamic law. Let's see what the Prophet wasallam, the one who received revelation from his Lord. Let's see what he says. The Prophet wasallam said, Whoever kills someone who is protected under the Muslim authority will never smell the fragrance of paradise. And this is collected in Bukhari, which Muslims consider to be the most authentic source for the Prophet ﷺ's narration, the most authentic book after the Qur'an, which is revelation and is the Qur'an is totally per perfect in the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bukhari and Muslim are collections of narrations regarding the statements and the habits and the characteristics of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Let's look at this hadith one more time. Let's read it. Whoever kills someone who is protected under the Muslim authority will never smell the fragrance of paradise. Is there anything left to debate? Is there anything left to clarify? I really don't think so. So when we look at extremists like Al Qaeda and these other groups, and we put their actions on the scale then we have to throw their their statements uh throw their statements aside because they they have no weight within the context of Islam and Islamic law and the sharia and i ask allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything i said that was correct was from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything that i said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad